We met two years ago, like in the end of March, beginning of April, and at the time I was the bartender at Four Oaks, and we met through some people with his job. Actually, a buddy of mine named Timmy Ray was up here working with us, and he's a bad alcoholic, and Holly and them were on the end of the bar playing a game. The next thing I know, Timmy Ray's trying to buy her shots, and she's, she ain't having no part of it. And she, she hollers at me, she says, hey, you. Kind of give her a look, of, you know, just kind of blowing her off. She said, you need to get your damn friend. I said, no, y'all need to deal with it. And then it was about, I guess about two weeks after that, I finally met her in a bar, and that's when we started talking and, you know, getting into the relationship. So we met at the bar, kind of got to talking. Next thing, it was a date. And our first date was mud bogging one night. And that evening, we got stuck, didn't get home to early in the morning. He had Martinsville race tickets. Did not get to go to the race because we had to go back and get a truck out of a mud hole. And then after that, it just led on to date after date. Probably her attitude. I mean, it's going to sound bad, but she's got that, that straight attitude, kind of a little bit of a facetious attitude all the time about everything and her smile. She got the beautiful smile in the world. Really nice guy, very caring, nice looking. He's a real honest person, very laid back. He kind of just goes with the flow. Whatever happens, happens. So that's a lot because I'm always on the run. <laughs> um, very understanding, caring, loving. Actually, I've had the ring for a while, and I hid it in her jewelry, her own jewelry box so she wouldn't be creeping, and she actually never found it. But she was working one night, and I went out and bought a bunch of flowers and strung them out for her all over and had it set up with candles around it. And it was a Friday night, and it had been really busy. And he came in, was hanging out all night, but I noticed he was like kind of uneasy about everything and he left early, which is unusual because when he didn't have to work on Saturdays, he would stay until I closed. So he leaves for about 30 minutes, comes back and he asks Charles, could I leave early and not clean? So when Charles told me at like 2.30 in the morning, just go ahead and go home, you know, you don't have to clean or whatnot. I was like, I wonder what this is all about. That's not like Charles to be like, just leave a mess and go home. So we leave, and um, at the time I could notice he was kind of nervous, uneasy about stuff. He was pacing a lot in the bar, and um, we go to leave, and he follows me home. And when I pull up, we have a fenced-in yard, and I noticed it was like stuff thrown all on the sidewalk. And we have a dog outside, and I thought the dog had got in the trash and like tore trash in the yard, and I'm freaking out when I get out because it's like 2.30 in the morning. I'm like, oh, gosh. We have to clean up trash at 2.30 in the morning. So I noticed he's like far behind me pulling up. So I opened the gate and when I stepped in, I noticed it was rose petals everywhere. And I kind of looked back and I'm like, what is all this mess on the sidewalk? And he's like, just walk, just go inside. So I walk up to the door and I noticed through our side windows around our door that it was candles burning. And I was like, I know you didn't leave with candles burning because anything could have happened because we have a small dog that lives inside. She could have knocked something over, you know. And he's like, you're always complaining. So I opened the door and there on a 
side table in our living room he had put in the middle of the floor. It was roses piled up and a little box sitting up and on top of that box was the ring open. I got so nervous I didn't even ask her if she was going to marry me. I kind of give her ultimatum. I said, are you going to spend the rest of your life with me or what? And I kind of looked and I'm like, is this a proposal? And he was like, well, yeah. So that's how it ended up happening. Actually, I'm not nervous, not yet. Not until, I guess, I hope not, until I have to walk out. But so far, it's been kind of, you know, not stressful, relaxed, so. Today's been great. I spent all day with my friends, you know, just like, just how we figured it, shooting skeet all day, hanging out. We've been setting up a little bit, but today's been great.